Well, the postseason edition of Hit and Runs, just more fun. Jake Peavy with us. Roldis Chapman left off the Yankees DS roster, missed a mandatory workout. There have been rumors that he may have been DFA'd before that. We're not inside the clubhouse, Jake, and good morning and welcome to you. But what, what is your take from afar? Well, from afar, it, there's something amiss here. And Aroldis Chapman's kind of been this type of character for a while now. We've seen it off and on. But yeah, to me, it's just disappointment for Yankees fans and your Yankees teammates. Uh, there, if you would have said that the beginning of this year, going into the postseason, Araldis Chapman is not going to be a big player at the back end of the Yankees yeah. rotation, you would have went, oh, God, on. but that's the case. I think Aaron Boone did a great job here. No distractions. New York's already, you know, media heavy. There's so many distractions already. Keep him away. We don't want him. You're either all in or you're all out at this point in time or all this Chapman all out. I loved what Brian Cashman said, and I tried to tell this to my teammates when, when I played. At the end of the day, you're an employee. You have to show up for work. Regardless of whether you like the way it's going or don't like the way it's going. He showed me his tush right here. You know, it, when, when, when he didn't know if he was going to be on the roster, and I don't believe he was going to be on the roster. I don't think Booney could have trusted him to get with the three batter minimum to run him out there. Couldn't control anything. So I think he decided, hey, I'm gonna go to Miami. I'm a veteran. I put in a lot of time in this league. My numbers are X, Y, Z. If they're not gonna put me on this roster, I'm not going back there to throw a sim game and get told I'm not being, I'm just gonna stay in Miami. To me, that's ridiculous. That's disrespectful, but I loved what Booney and Cash did. Stay home. We don't. We don't want you around if you're not all in. You actually always say that about yourself. You say at the end of the day, I'm an employee. About. I don't own. Here. Listen, I went through a similar situation. Ken Caminetti right. at the end was with the Braves, and we all loved him. Loved him. I mean, that dude was fierce. Cammy was. Cammy was bad. <laughs> all right, and he knew he wasn't going to make the postseason roster, and Bobby asked him to stay, and he's like, I, I, I can't, with the career that I've had sit there and not feel like I can help. I'm not, so he, he wanted to leave. So he came up to me and said, everything in my locker is yours. <laughs> he said, I'll be in touch. He said, we'll never speak again. Did you? Never. <laughs> never spoke again. Never. I have his cleats, he had those badass Oh cleats. man, look. Remember those? Those I'm, sweet, I, there's a lot of days, high but... top hikes. <laughs> You're like, I'll take the watch. <laughs> hey, elsewhere in the East, that game between Cleveland and Tampa Bay, I mean, that game too was. Oof. Interminable. The bats were silent for most of it. And, and D Rose. This play by this here, play Jose it Ramirez saved, saved the game. Could have been a season saver and then SpongeBob SquarePants. Though, right? Oh, Squidward. <laughs> you said you need more offense for Tampa moving well, forward. Well, here's the deal they have a rotate. Like, they've been to the World Series. They've given themselves multiple opportunities. They've been to ALCSs. I get it. They dealt with some injuries this year. Wander was never healthy. Mike Zanino was down. Kevin yeah. Kiermeyer was hurt. You see it right Brandon there. Lyle. But you can't keep running out this same, I get it, with the payroll that they got. Give me a little bit of offense here because McClanahan's a one Ooh. on any team. Glass now's a one, one on any team. Rasmussen took He's a step filthy. forward. He's filthy. So you know pitching wise. Springs wide. behind him. Springs, you're always going to have a chance. But can I get some... Can I get someone that Jake Peavy's got to they, worry about? They, there's in the been lineup? nobody that's developed pitching, I don't think, in the, over the last 10, 15 years. Going back to James Shields, David Price, Tampa Bay has done that. They still got those arms stocked out. You got to find a way to get your offense in the game. That you have to. You're in the American League East. Hats off. You win pitching and defense, but they're struggling. And an injury, I, I know, but you got to get some help for those guys. And, because again, Baltimore Orioles are here to stay in the American League East. Boom. Austin Red Sox, unacceptable. They're back in three postseason teams. You better get some offense. Yeah. Uh, you know, because it's frustrating. I've been on teams yeah. with good pitching and not enough offense in San Diego and it early. Starts it's to not fun. It starts to those number one guys out. Toronto Blue Jays, of course, in the American League East. They had an 8 1 lead on Saturday against the Seattle Mariners. Looked like they were going to force a game three. Kevin Gossman was filthy. This play right here, J.P. Crawford hitting it in the right slash wrong spot, depending on your perspective. George Springer had unfortunately had to be carted off. We still haven't had any update on his situation. Hopefully he's okay. Dero, how do you kind of um, disappointment? Yeah, put, I would button have to up say, everything. What happened in I Toronto? I think a lot of people, myself included, picked them to to be like the sexy World Series potential. A lot of people picked them to win the AL East. 
They'll be back. They're young. They're hungry. Their offense doesn't quit. Bo Bichette led the league in hits again. Vladdy had a down year and had a north of 800 OPS. Listen, they ran. Luis Castillo was hot as fire. And yeah. They ran into a team that m may be destined to do special things. The bullpen just couldn't get the job yeah. done. I was going to say, Roflo, that's my that's my take. Is it, like, Tampa Bay needs offense. I think you need to build around Romano a little bit. I hated to see him end his season the way he did. Outstanding year from him. Asking to do what you know you ask Never of done. these guys. Yeah, yeah. Go back out for the second time. That's what I love about the postseason. Uh, you know, you're just watching guys in spots. That, uh, that you normally don't see them in and, and trying to do more than they've, they've done. But I'm with you. Toronto bullpen help. That lineup is deep. Starting pitching, you get a better year from Barrios. And yeah. Stripling showed up huge. You got two guys at the top. Get some bullpen help. In there. That game should have been over. Yeah. Eight. You can't you can't lose you can't be up a touchdown in baseball and, and lose. Mm. Uh, that's you know, yeah, that's a, that's a, that is a tough pill to swallow and definitely going to be a rough offseason for the Blue Jays organization. But they did have a fine year in 2022.